Hello and welcome to the channel. I am Justice and today we're going to be talking about the top five things you need to know when you're starting out with Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Let's get into it. Alright, so you have made your account, you've downloaded the game, you are ready to jump in and get started with some Master Duel. Where do we go from here? Well, I actually created a brand new account so you can see exactly how things are going to look for you and we're going to go over very quickly some things you want to do and some things you don't want to do, the most important things to be aware of. Now first and foremost, well you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, you need cards, right? So this is easy, we're going to go to the shop, look at this, we can buy card packs, we can buy structure decks, heck yeah. So. Boom! Master Pack, right? The new legend starts here. Open the whole new world. Incredible. We can get 10 packs for a thousand gems. Look, we already have a thousand. Super is guaranteed. Let me be very clear. Do not. Do not buy these packs. We're going to go over what you are going to want to buy uh, in the rest of this video. But especially just starting out, this is not where you want to be spending your gems. You can get literally anything. There are 6,750 different cards in the game. If you are looking for a specific deck type, or even if you don't know exactly what you want, but you want to build some sort of reasonable, cohesive deck, this is not going to be the way to do it. Stay away from Master Packs when you're first starting out. So, that does lead us into the question of, well, what should I buy? What do I want to do? Great question, let's get into that. Alright, so now that we know what we're not going to be buying, what do we want to be picking up first starting out? Well, it's a little bit hidden, because as we see, there's just packs here. But we want to look at the Dual Pass. It's going to be under your Special tab in the shop. Dual Pass, Dual Pass Gold. This we want. Why? Well, it costs 600 gems, but if we look at the rewards here of everything we can get, if you go through the whole pass, you'll see it actually pays for itself as you will get 600 gems back. Plus, a whole bunch of materials to craft cards that you're looking for, as well as a little uh, pot of greed mate, just chills on your field with you, which is kind of cool. Uh, and an L Shadow Construct Monster Art, if you want that. Uh, this is great value because it literally refunds you for buying it. Now the only uh, exception I will say there is to this is if you're only planning on playing, you know, a duel here or there once or twice a week, you might not end up going through the whole pass. Uh, it may not be worth it for you if you're only going to play a little bit. However, if you're going to spend some time with this game, this is absolutely something you want to pick up right away. Now I hear you saying, but Justice, I just spent 600 out of the thousand gems that I start with. How am I going to get any more cards? It's great I have this dual pass, but how can I do anything with it without any cards? Great question. So, let's get into our next point here. This is going to be point number three. Let's get you some cards and gems. So, to get started, we actually do want to head into the solo mode. There is a lot here. So, even going into this dual strategy section, A, if you're not completely familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! or specifically advanced format, this actually will do a lot uh, to teach you what you need to know. I know for me personally, I've been out of advanced format for a long time and more of a speed duel player for a while now. Uh, so getting some refreshers on uh, how link summoning works and all that, actually very, very helpful. But we see as we go through here, you're actually going to get some pretty helpful cards. We're going to get Raigeki for clearing this first one. Is it going to be in your final uber competitive deck? Probably not. Is it going to help you early on? Absolutely it will. And the same is going to go here for Monster Reborn for our second one. Uh, this not so exciting, but as you see, as we go on, we do get some pretty neat rewards, just even for going through this training mode here. Uh, there's more practice, which, oh, look at that! That's 600 gems for this practice duel. There's another 600, and another, and another. 
we have a lot there, but it extends beyond just learning the basics of the game. As we see, if we go into here, we're going to start getting into the stories of different uh, archetypes, which is actually really cool. But, let's say you don't care about the story, it means nothing to you, worry not my friend, there's still something here for you. Because as we go through, we're going to get rewards. Now what are these? These help unlock the locked gates. Why does that matter? Well, in the unlocked ones, when you go through the first time, you're going to want to use the loner deck, which is cool, but then you can also use your own deck, and now you're going to start getting card rewards. These are very easy. Don't worry about, oh, I don't have a great deck yet. You can use basically what you get to start off with, and you're going to be just fine. But what's awesome is that lots behind these doors, in the second one, when you use your own deck, you get another 200 gems, and you're going to be able to use that for each of these story modes, of which there are going to be more. Once we clear these, more are going to show up, and more and more. There's actually quite a few of them. That is going to be a lot of gems and a lot of cards, because as you finish them, you're also going to get structure decks for each of these. You're going to get a Monarch structure deck, you're going to get an Element Saber structure deck, and more and more as you go. So this is a fantastic way to start building up the collection and getting gems to get more. But there's more after that. Alright, so you went through all of solo mode, you got your cards, you got your gems, now you got all those gems, what are you gonna do with them? Well, there's one very important place to start. We may not want to buy Master Packs by themselves. That doesn't mean we're not getting any Master Packs. Why? Because we're gonna come over here to the Special tab, and we already got this Dual Pass, but in these bundle deals, oh my goodness, this is where the value is. So normally, 10 packs are 1,000 gems. But what we can do here, once each, is get a powerful card, Ash Blossom, everybody uh, knows and will say loves this, uh, plus 10 packs for 750 gems. We can do this with Lightning Storm, we can do this with Solemn Judgment. Buy all three of these. These are great value. You're going to get a powerful card with each that you can throw into most decks, to be honest, and 10 packs at a pretty significant discount. Buy these bundles. And what's great is that in getting these 30 packs, that's going to lead us into the last big thing you need to know when you're getting started. Alright, so what is this last big point you need to know when starting out with Master Duel? Well, I kept uh, what I think is kind of the most fun one for last. So for demonstration purposes on this brand new account, let's go ahead and buy this Ash Blossom set. Alright, it's 750 gems, at least one super rare is guaranteed. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and buy this, and you're going to see the last thing that's going to be very, very important. Let's open our packs. Uh, we'll see how long it takes to get to what it is I want to show you. My guess is not very long at all. Uh, however, it's not going to be this first pack. <laughs> um, let's keep going here. Oh, this has got to be something great. Look at that. The animations, by the way, just beautiful. Here we go. So, we pull a super rare. It's Mech Lord Emperor Grinnell, and you see this little key that came up here? Well, that's going to be what we're going to focus on, so let's take a look at what that means. If you know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh!, you probably know there are a lot of different deck archetypes in this game. Well, here's what happens when we're done opening our packs. For each of those cards that gave us that little key, it's because they were a super rare or ultra rare of a particular archetype, and now we can access what's called secret packs. This is much, much better value uh, than just your master packs because this is what's going to allow you to target a particular archetype. So let's say, just for example, you love Six Samurai, okay? Well, we pulled Secret Six Samurai Rihan. It's a super rare of the Six Samurai archetype, so this unlocked the Great Shogun's Rule secret pack. So what happens in secret packs? Secret packs have what's called featured cards. So these are all the cards that are featured. We're not going to go over all of them, but as you can see, they are six samurai related. Now, some secret packs will have two different archetypes in them. This one's pretty focused on six samurai. So these are all the featured cards. Well, each time you open a secret pack, uh, it's eight cards. Four of them are guaranteed to be from that list of featured cards. The other four are completely random. 
What this means is that every pack you open, four cards are guaranteed to be from this secret pack and therefore probably helping you work on your collection of that particular archetype. But it gets better because of the fact that only half are guaranteed of that. You'd say, wait, that's bad. Yes and no. Because the other half are not from the secret pack, they can be from anything, which means you can pull a super rare or ultra rare that exists in another secret pack, therefore giving you access to that secret pack as well, which means you can actually chain secret pack into secret pack. So if you're looking to get, say, cards from multiple archetypes, this is an amazing way to do it. Now, the thing to be aware of with your secret packs, and you can see all of them here if you go to pack, secret pack, now we see we unlocked five different ones out of those 10 packs that we opened from that bundle deal. However, you see they all say 23 hours left. They're available for 24 hours from the time you unlock them. So if you know you're really interested in one of them, you want to make sure that you're going ahead and opening packs from there. But here's the great part. You don't actually have to completely rely on RNG from opening packs to first find the secret pack that you want. Because if you use the crafting system to craft a super rare or ultra rare that exists in a secret pack, it is going to unlock that secret pack for you for 24 hours. So this is an amazing way to target specific archetypes or cards that you're looking for. Which brings us back to our beginning point. Do not buy master packs. Just terrible value. Secret packs are incredible. These bundles are amazing and they're going to give you an amazing start to your master duel journey that is going to be so much better than just opening a random pack, of, you know, from 6800 cards. Utilize these tools and you're going to be in great shape. So that is going to do it for this video. That is not literally everything that you need to know about master duel. But if you use these five tips, you are going to have a great head start over people that are going in completely blind. That'll do it for my top five tips for you for starting out with Master Duel. However, if there's anything you think I missed or something that might be helpful to a new player, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. Let's help each other get a good start and enjoy what is actually looking to be like a really great game. So until next time, be good to yourself, be good to each other, good luck in all of your games, and I'll see you in the next video.